Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Combat 7. Uh, let's continue. Right, what the hell mission was I doing? Uh, hold on, let's, let's rewatch the briefing. Let's see here. With the loss of an arsenal bird, followed by the destruction of their ballistic missile base, Yerusha is running out of ways to counter. All right. This is a great opportunity for the Ocean Army to bolster our power to eventually take down the Erusian capital of Farbanti. The special long-range strategy is entering its final phase. Our objective is to attack and capture the Erusian Air Force Base in Cape Rainy in northern Erusia. Oh this yeah, this mission. Is at the forefront of our strategy to establish control okay. of Farbanti. Under the cover of night, our plan is that all squadrons will invade from the valley to the south and mount an air assault on the area. The enemy's observation field has eyes on the skies above the valley, so your altitude will need to be restricted. If you go over a certain altitude, the enemy could spot you, ending the mission in failure. Keep that in mind. Once you arrive, you are to take out the enemy's air defense forces as soon as possible and prepare for the support squadron. When the air defense forces are neutralized, the helicopter squadron should arrive carrying Marines. The plan is to take control of the base. Getting through the valley is only half the job. All right. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the mission where you fly through the canyon. Now there's something that's been bugging me, so let me just uh, check something. So, oh, now I know how to pronounce the plane I fly. <laughs> I hadn't... I don't know, I've been mispronouncing things all over the place. I don't know why that one was bothering me. But Rafael. Okay. I know it's French, but... yeah. At least I believe it's French. I hope I didn't just embarrass myself there. I mean, uh, versatile, I'm... Full carrier based aircraft used by both the Navy and Air Force. And model follows. Um, yeah, there is going to be bombing at the end of this, so. I'm going to stick with it. Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. It's been doing good, and honestly, kind of like the look of it. I like the look of the, the European. Well, I guess they're mostly French. Those fighters, they look pretty nice. I'm hit or miss on the American ones. There's certain American ones that I really like the look of, and there's certain ones I just think are a little awkward looking. The Russian ones are Beginning sweet, nighttime but eh. Process. I don't know. Be careful of reduced visibility. Depends on which one we're talking about. 1,500 meters to tanker. Make Some left. of the old MiGs are real goofy looking. I do think, I think the Eagle is one of the best looking American planes. I think the Hornet's probably my favorite, but like, the Falcon is awkward looking. Let's just be real. No weapons until you reach the enemy base. All aircraft reduce altitude. We have altitude restrictions from here on out. Keep All right. Below 600 meters. I kind of want to pull this off as fast as possible, even Search though it's, right uh... Watch for it. Site. Unnecessary. Caution. 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 
Whoops. We'll get you down safe. The more you short. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's restart from checkpoint. <laughs> I forgot which way I need to go there. It wasn't that easy to see. No weapons until you reach the enemy base. I want to practice this at some point because I think it'd be just really cool to try and go through this as quick as possible. Good. Maintain your current course. Searchlight up ahead. Watch for it. Stay out of their sight. Oh, this. Okay, I understand how I messed up there. I bet people speed run this. I mean, they, I'm sure you know people speed run everything. But the specific mission. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's my fault. I air braked late. I hit the brakes a little late. That's my bad. <laughs> All right, uh, enough goofing. Let's just do this right. The first part I can move quickly, but I'll move slower in the second section. No weapons until you reach the enemy base. All aircraft reduce altitude. We have altitude restrictions from here on out. Keep altitude below 600 meters. Good. Maintain your current course. Searchlight up ahead. Watch for it. Stay out of their sight. Strider, pass this one. Okay, I'll slow down. When can we take on the final mission? I'm starting to get tired of all this. This is the last step, Count. We'll take the enemy base and use it as a bridgehead. Whoops. It won't let me pause and just restart. I gotta go through We've the whole element of surprise. Oh, come on, we're gonna go through this, too? I thought it was gonna fade, fade to black and restart. God damn. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I went through the fucking Strider one. spotlight. You have passed through waypoint one. No weapons until you reach the enemy base. Okay. All aircraft, reduce altitude. We have altitude restrictions from here on out. I'm just gonna start getting impatient. Again. Keep altitude below 600 meters. Maintain your current course. Searchlight up ahead. Watch for it. Stay out of their sight. Strider, ask this one. Our current ET matches yours. Catch them on guard. Can we secure the LZ quickly? We'll get you down safe. I'm worried you're short on men. Strider 1. Ralph 2 is too high. Everyone here has already signed this one. That ain't funny. Understood. Caution. Strider 1, you've passed through waypoint 2. Caution. The valley's about to get narrower. Be careful. Caution. Pull up. Caution. Pull up. Caution. When can we take on the final mission? I'm starting to get tired of all this. This is the last step, Count. We'll take the enemy base and use it as a bridgehead. Watch yourselves out there. We're going to need all of you in Fort Bonte. Now, Wiseman here, everybody wants to give orders like they're the company commander himself. The best thing about Strider Squadron is that our leader keeps his mouth shut. Watch your speed. 
You've passed waypoint three. You're coming up on the base. Imposing radio silence. We won't be able to talk again until you're over the base. Continue to keep an eye on your altitude. Hey, Longcaster, shut up. Radio silence. Sounds so quiet. Okay. You're almost at the base. You made it. That was quite the roller coaster ride. Visual confirmation on the airbase. Reach destination. Missed. Commence the attack. Missed. It's time for their wake up call. The longer it takes, the worse off we'll be. Hurry up. Finish them off. All right. Let's give the beating. Strato one. Target acquired. Do as much damage. Enemy start attacking. Where the hell did they come from? Target down and out. They took out our leader's bird. Hurry, or the roof is on the ground. Fire up the searchlight. I can't see where the enemies are coming from. It looks like the enemy's air defenses are online. Yes, they finally decided to wake up. Keep up the attack. The sooner we finish this thing, the better. That takes care of all the SAM sites. This is fast support. Climb to the air. Landing down. Roger that. If the enemy is still present and large numbers of our ground forces arrive, the mission will be to failure. Go help our allies. Be quick. Our time beats is free. Your jokes haven't gotten any better. One of the fighters took off. We've engaged the enemy reinforcement. Requesting immediate close air support. Copy that. We'll send some your way. Pizza guy's in trouble. Let's help him out. It's all right. Those two OZ and big shots will take care of him for us. And that was wasteful. All enemy fighters down. I feel their pain. I really do. Strider Squadron, do it quickly, or we'll lose the element of surprise. Air support is on its way. I bet that one hurt. Target eliminated. Great work. Okay, that attack just took out the enemies on the front line. The way ahead is cleared up. You have our thanks. Damage reports. We've suffered heavy losses. This is more than a surprise attack. That's the last order to use us. They've all been taken out. Picking up an enemy squadron. Must be the reinforcements they called in. We've run this one leader. It's one of the very stretches. Emergency! The enemy reinforcements are stopping us! We can't do anything about their air power, and we need support. We've still got three enemy fighters left. It's not over yet. This is nothing compared to what we faced in the last. 
last mission. What is this approach? Excellent work on the night raid. Submarines have arrived from the Ocean mainland and are refueling. This base will serve as a frontline platform for our mission to take Farbanti. We're almost at the end of this operation. Mihai's second sortie was designed to calculate how his physiology changed under the stress of combat. My job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand how his skills evolved. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore. For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were as sharp as they ever were. Still, 
After all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. For Mihai's second sortie, we used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff, but by the time he landed back at the base, he was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. Defend mission. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, it wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. A new flight suit was made to my exact specifications. When it finally arrived, Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. They blamed me for the pain their grandfather had to keep enduring. But All Mihai right. remained stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I wasn't worried about it. I was confident the new suit would protect him thoroughly so that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. Hmm. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. Of course, Mihai's kingdom was the sky. Battle for Farbanti. The operation to capture Arusha's capital, Farbanti, is beginning. This is the culmination of our work. We need to capture the Arusian forces' general headquarters in the south of Farbanti and end this war. The plan is for ground troops to attack Farbanti from both the east and north and a task fleet will attack from the southwest. We will secure air superiority over the capital while providing air support for our allies on the ground and in the water as required. Uh, By all accounts, we expect this to your be map is loading. I don't know if that's the game's fault or if that's supposed to be that way. And air. Should you need to replenish your ammunition or make necessary repairs to your craft, a return line has been set up in the north. During this operation, we will also be tasked with having to destroy the communications satellites that Eruja hacked. If we take down the information communication system we believe they have control over, it should plunge Eruja into chaos. Once the capital falls, uh. the Erujian military will be isolated and thrown into chaos, making it easier for us to end the war. However, that can't happen until after the capital falls, so you guys are the stars of this battle. Eruja will fight like a tiger, but we cannot lose. We must seize the capital and end this war. All right. Probably sticking to the same setup. Rafael. With the Lackhams. Yep. Probably fine. Strider Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. Ominous, though, that Mihai is now, uh... Got his a suit that lets him be fully capable in the sky.
Our troops have engaged the Fravati Reconstruction Park, Silver Bridge, and the submerged area. We need you to help our boys in those three locations. This'll end the war. It's time. Commence the operation. Our friends are waiting. Lately, as your company commander, I felt some of you young bucks coming after my championship belt. I think I'm gonna go out there and I run up the score a little bit. Just to show you guys how it's done. I trust I can count on all of you to keep up. Let's get out there, take care of business, come back in one piece. Strider 1, I think you all you are to secure the said bridge. But they can't break enemy lines. We have aircraft in addition to you, but our numbers are less than ideal. Strikes in the sky. Bad for those guys. Strider 1, return line is to the north. Head that way if you need to refuel. Good luck, everyone. The enemy has a Alright, I'm just back in the saddle of Cyclops 2. It's good to be flying with you again, partner. Shit. God, your buddy's launched. The missile got the RDM. Did you make it? I think, uh, there's an A-10, okay. Shooting down fighters. Gotta hit some ground targets because I got the, these bombs itching to go.
Alright, I'm just gonna slam these battle cruisers because they're surviving a lot. Maybe I shouldn't bomb the city, Enemy although it looks pretty guard. destroyed already. Shot down, black or something.
These guys are annoying. Time, but I know I'm going to need more ammo. Strider 1, this is control tower. This. Okay, um... I probably should have... Strider yeah, 1, fine. this is control tower. The runway is clear.
Mr. X, I know it's a tall order, but HQ wouldn't ask if they didn't have faith in you. Yeah, they are. It's the Snowbirds. The two leaders are at different levels. But don't underestimate Nicole. the rest of them either. Nicole. This should prove to be fun. What do you Nicole. mean? It's just like you say, the enemy has experienced Nicole. fighters in their midst. Like champions. Target was not struck. Don't let Mr. X run wild. Friendlies Nicole. are suffering heavy damage. Nicole. 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 Shit! Negative 
Cyclops 2, you're the lead. I can't do it. Trigger should take command. Duty is yours. It's impossible. Do it. Ugh. Damn it. Cyclops 4, form an element. We need our top gun if we're gonna take out that bastard. Look we'll count. You're holding your own out. Right. One hit, please. Oh, damn it! Ah, I couldn't get, I couldn't pull up hard enough. I shouldn't have been chasing him down into the city like that. Try from checkpoint. Please don't tell me it's gonna send me all the way back. Okay. I can get rid of some of the lackeys. That might help. LRSSG, we have an emergency order from Mission Command. Bring down Mr. X. I know it's a tall order, but HQ wouldn't ask if they didn't have faith in you. There they are. It's the Snowbirds. The two leaders are on a different levels, but don't underestimate the rest of them either. I should prove to be fun. What do you mean? It's just like you say, the enemy has experienced fighters in their midst. Suffering heavy damage. Speed up a little bit more. That's uh. What's going on here? I can't believe it. We just lost ship three and four. We're taking heavy damage. It's like this monster is torturing us out Not there. quite enough for this. LRSSG, we have an emergency order from Mission Command. Bring down Mr. X. I know it's a tall order, but 
HQ wouldn't ask if they didn't have faith in you. Prepare the R. It's the Snowbirds. The two leaders are in a different world. But don't underestimate the rest of them either. This should prove to be fun. What do you mean? It's just like you say, the enemy has experienced fighters in their midst. Shot shouldn't have landed. That was some bullshit Shit. tracking. I Cyclops saw that. Triggers our only hope. 
Okay, 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 yep. Nope, he's pulling this shit. He's gonna pull that shit, huh? Locked on at that angle, yeah, right. The air speed up. Good lord, all we can do is rely on our best pilot now. Shit, this guy's too tough. I don't think I can take him on. Missile hit! Good job! Now go finish the job. Ain't going in there. Mr. X, trigger. Shoot it down, trigger. You can do it. You can fly around in there all day. My radar suddenly turned off. What is it? Respond. My data won't update. My hunt is out. What was that? I lost radar contact. What's up? Look at the sky. Towards the sun. What is that? A star? No, maybe an explosion? This is Soul Squadron. Head home. It's not safe to stick around here if we lose our base. Listen up. We've just lost our real-time connection with Mission Command. It's not just Mission Command. I'm not getting any response from outside our LOS. Barbanti's now under OCN control. The operation was a success. Uh -huh. Get the orders that should have come after the operational success. We'll guide you to the scheduled airport. All aircraft, leave this airspace immediately. Negative. They've got a debt to pay. He's already gone. Count. We all feel the same way. Shit. So Wiseman died for nothing. Damn. This is a peacekeeping force forward base near Erusian territory. Other Allied aircraft have probably been forced to make emergency landings at other airfields. We don't know much. The mission to capture the capital is nearly complete, but we unfortunately have no intel. The enemy communication satellites are down, and we have confirmed the deaths of several Erusian leaders. But our enemy was smart. They had a similar plan. Our own communication systems were destroyed at approximately the same time. We have no idea when or if they'll come back online. Stand by for further details. Alright. See what happened. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, Half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles at the same time. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit, which Esler wiped syndrome. out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. But now, those were gone. All that remained was chaos and confusion. Once you destroy a critical Government mass and civilian broadcasts of satellites, and transmissions were they all come down. The flow of information had ceased. Forces on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. 
Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Communications from corporate were cut off. Apparently, the entire computer network was down. It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. Even with their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making, though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. I saw a plane flying off in the distance. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. Well. Perugia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. All of Yuzia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Yuzia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned Everyone's and doing. move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Yuzian army. With the capital under our control, Yuzia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay, having joined up with support dispatch from the Ocean Army. The plan is that they'll take a standard vehicle to a rendezvous point at a harbor in the east part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. I would like the new Strider Squadron to provide escort for the officer. Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. However, it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. Our victory in Farbanti has given us a golden opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. Take note that our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent communications failure. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. Yep. All right. The eerie silence of this phase of the game. I guess I'll stick with the roof fail.
Strider Squadron, you're cleared to taxi. Oh boy. The unidentified Ocean craft. This is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. Are you really friendly? It's over. This is Longcaster. Airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Okay, I hope you're right. Longcaster, are all of these really unknowns? Yep. It's a state of civil war. The Erosian army is fighting itself. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us in this confusion. We'll even process the unknowns caught in camps to identify friend or foe. The process will be faster if you get a close-up well set an image. Meanwhile, just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before you fire. Forces. This is AWACS for the LRSSG. Our info has been updated. The city under martial law. Gunfire and the roar of jets echoing through the streets. Give me Strider Squadron's IDs. Oh, and uh, hand me that sandwich. <laughs> right into a group. Strata 1, target acquired. It's a Russian. They are responding aggressively. General, if they're conservatives, they'll listen to us. The negotiations were a success, Longcaster. They've opened up a path for us. The more the merrier. A little bit of a war crime to drop a bomb like that in a populated city like this, but whatever. So far, it's all allies. Three conservatives and uh. Yeah, understandable. Strider 2, missile going your way! Whether you're a or not, you're just too stubborn to change the top. Erosians and Erosian Ship sunk. There's a vehicle up ahead. I think it's gonna ask us to 
pay a toll. Get closer and find out if it's an enemy vehicle. We'll go. Let's go. We archived all the footage that we've shot, but when the communication networks come back online. Vehicle blocking the road. Strider 1, target destroyed. No response to hails. It's the radical sign. So I can ID you. We're almost at landfill number seven. If we can make it through, we'll be in arm's reach of the rendezvous at Kruger Park. Captain Kruger, sure. do you have the means to record this conversation? I wish to explain to you the situation inside Arugia. I'm sure the boys listening upstairs will record this. Finding the front lines was all the work of some young Erosian officers. They were referred to as the Radicals, but there was an unseen force guiding them. It was technology they borrowed from the Belkins. Ah, uh, Belka. War, the performance of the attack drones exceeded their wildest dreams. And they were incredibly clean, which got public opinion and the opportunists within the military on their side. They even manipulated the princess. Technology advanced UAV research within the Erosian Flight Test Center by at least 10 years. They used the flight data from a former ace pilot to create drone AI, but... To us, it's no different than magic or alchemy. Airplanes are meant to be flown by human beings. For those of you listening in, am I wrong? We're heading towards Grunder Park. Rendezvous point is a helipad on this man-made island. We'll ditch the car and take the helicopter from there. Lock on!
Understood. Box two. System failures caused friendly fire incidents on Lucian forces. Okay, don't ID it, Longcast, you're fine. Jeez, Sampire. Our movement is restricted by unidentified units in our location. They're all Oceans. It's a Russian military. Radar now. We turn to in this darkest hour. We need a beacon of light to show us the way. This is the illusion news network. Okay, let's go. We're getting out of here. I've had just about enough of this place. I'd like to offer my thanks to the LRSSG. This should finally bring about a true end to the war. Understood. Good luck. Unidentified aircraft approaching. This plane is carrying civilians. 
remember, these guys take one missile? They might. Warning, enemy has a beat on you. Ow. Alright, get my airspeed up. Helicopters flying safely outside Anchorhead Bay. All aircraft, RTB, mission complete. All right. All hostiles, huh? respond to the attack on the base, Cyclops has scrambled after being on standby. We'll head up too, once our planes are ready. Oh, and Labarth is dead. What did you say? Apparently, he was shot down by another Ocean aircraft after he left the area of operations. I mean, I know it was chaos, but still. At any rate, the sealed order operation has come to a close. We have no idea about a plan for going forward. All we can do for now is watch our own backs. What's up with the commander? He's staying in his room. He's still alive, since we can hear him crying. Huh. Understandable in this fucking clusterfuck of a situation. War is supposed to be over. The island we went to was supposed to have been secured by the ground forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there. So now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat, making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down, so none of us knew what the hell was going on. 
The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. They stole some jets and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. Mm. I wonder if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away at morale. Since the radio was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Passenger, uh -oh. not military. I knew that rose. It was an erosion liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, my father, a man who was never really suited to being the king, was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane was shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After all those speeches I gave, about working together for peace. I thought everyone felt the same as I did. <gasps> I'm sure the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Arugia. He was Arugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. Watch as one of their dogs approaches and sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. I tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? Oh, they know. They know exactly who you are. After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works! I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. And then, very softly, she said, You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. Just what did you see here? Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Forbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erusian officer. At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is, or what our mission will be. Radio communication is still patchy for both the military and civilians, so we're getting zip from mission command about our orders. Still, with countless erosion forces in the area, it's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, regarding Count's suggestion to think about self-defense, uh... I think we should make a break for Tyler Island. It was a large Ocean base before the start of the war. 
Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according to plan, the base may already be in allied hands when we uh, uh, Though based on what no. Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. So much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want to do. If Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. It's decided then. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. Although we can avoid the Arsenal Bird's anti-air network, there's still remnants from the Erosion forces. I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Pick a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. I'm sticking to the same airplane. I know there's better, but I don't know. I like it. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. Taking this island. Thank God, friendly birds. Storming storming when they start broadcaster. Many of our allies are cut off. They need support and an escape route. Understood. We'll do what we can. Let's help retreating Ocean forces. Take out any hostiles in their area. Oh boy. Go no engage till targets are ID. On the ground, don't need more people shooting at them. Thanks. It's absolute chaos out there. The starting to fight amongst themselves. Come on, come on, come on. ID, ID. Well, now we know what's going on, but shit. Yeah. Give me enemy position. Oh, God, the artillery fire is a number on my hearing. Come on, ID. Yeah. Now, they are not combatants. Some of them aren't even wearing shoes. 
This one you have to be really careful on because they're really mixed together. Fucking war crimes going on right now. Fuck, ID, ID! Come on, Longcaster. ID for me, man. ID it already. IDing? Identification complete. It's illusion bombers and escorts. Count's prophecy has come true. Take out all bombers. They'll flatten our allies. Plenty of civilian casualties as well. Pursue 
precision bombing is impossible in these conditions. Maybe they know they can't. We're gonna drop them all. Whatever, they're all hostile. But I got so many fighters on my tail. All enemy bombers have been destroyed. We did it. Continue with your mission. Strider 3, launch a missile. Enemy on your back. Missile. 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 too. Alright, what's this, the bomber's checkpoint? Let's help retreating Ocean forces. Oh. Take out any hostiles in their area. Don't engage till targets are ID'd. The boots on the ground don't need more people shooting at them. Thanks. It's absolute chaos out there. The erosion starting to fight amongst themselves. Well, now we know what's going on, but shit. Where's our damn air support? More damage. Get out there and call the missing birds. Take out the hostiles in our area. Get us out of this hellhole. Destroyed. We need help over the right. There's more over here. The bodies of dead civilians. I don't think they were part of the fight. That they're all lined up. No, they are not combatants. Some of them aren't even wearing shoes. I can guess what happens here, but I really don't want to think about it. That was really bastard. It's a blatant war crime. Take photo for evidence. Caution. Hold on. Jesus, they're firing at each 
other. Is this the norm around here? It's all crazy, people. Mind IDing, come on. Please ID them. Thank you. It's the Ocean military. Don't they know they're on the same side? We'll be firing at each other. This is AWACS Longcaster. We're uploading the latest ID data. Check your TAC terminal. Hold your fire! Confirmed! The info is for Allied AWACS! Hold your fire! You guys got out alive. You have time to figure it out. We're outnumbered. Taking heavy losses. We can't even run. The enemy will shoot us in the back. Get in the landing crab. Many thanks, Longchester. We didn't have to leave our boys to die. Understood. Fox 2. Missile. 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 
Identification complete. It's erosion bombers and their escorts. Count's prophecy has come true. Take out all bombers. They'll flatten our allies. Plenty of civilian casualties as well. Precision bombing is impossible in these conditions. Maybe they know they can't. We're gonna drop them all. Heads up. These reinforcements are elite. Missile launch control. This is point leader. All systems ready. We are going to launch. This is launch control. Off of me.
the location of the flare. That's them. All aircraft, we just updated your threat matrix via data link. Take out those targets. Don't miss. Missile. Don't want to hit the pretty ladies now. Missile. Hurry. Missile. Missile. Strutter 1, Fox Missile. 2. Missile. Jaffa flares launched. go. Oh, come on. I was right on the mass driver. Don't pull the mass me back. If the supply ships make it to the arsenal bird, Rude. they'll be able to resupply it. It may be loaded with new weaponry that we don't even know about. We have no choice but to take down the supply ships before they can get within the Arsenal Bird's air defense network. You've got to hurry or you're not going to make it. Three minutes to the enemy's air defense network. Missile. I was expecting this Missile. to be easy if all they could do was fly Missile. fast. Missile. All aircraft, remain Missile. on high alert. We got bandits in coming on radar. Missile. You're going to have to forget about them for now. Focus on destroying that supply ship first. We're sitting ducks like this. Let the supply ship get too far away, we'll never be able to catch it. But these guys have a head start. Come on. Happened. They were little kids. 
That's why I like the sky. You don't have to see those types of things. Does this mean we're that much closer to ending the war? No, we just basically prevented it from going on forever. Count's right. We have no choice but to return to our original base. Our base that is nearly out of food and fuel. We need to do something. I mean, I pretty much mopped everything off that island, but... Oh well. Good. Take a seat. Everyone's here. All right. Good work in sinking the supply ships. Not to mention saving the refugees. However, we're in no position to start celebrating. Even the commander here is starting to fray from the stress. Can't say I blame him. Now, Tyler Island is in a state of complete anarchy. This base isn't safe either. The faces you see around you are the only friends we've got. Take a good look. We found a boat, then sailed away from the island. We had to. We didn't belong there. The new guy's name was George. I noticed when the anarchist said his name, he said it with a thick Belkan accent. How did you know that he was from Belka? Well, both my parents were from Belka, so... You never told me that. They say that Belkans are known for their conspiracies. That's just a stereotype. Now, I simply stated my honest opinion and was thrown in jail for it. Mm. The princess sat there looking miserable. That was a dumbass stunt she pulled back there, but it got us on this boat. Take a look at that. This ship is heading for a single rope that's hanging down from the sky. Do you know how far the end of that rope reaches? Outer space? No. It is a direct connection to the very potential of mankind itself. All right. At least it was until war erupted. It's my strong belief that the rope might be connected to a very distant, faraway source of, of great conflict and strife. Even long before the war, the whole world started falling apart once Harling began trying to build it. I often wonder, what was going through Harling's mind when, when he was trying to destroy the very thing that so many people were sacrificed in order to create. Sacrificed? What do you mean? Have you seen all of those countless old space shuttles on Tyler Island that are no longer in use? Yeah. <laughs> I always thought of them as a good source of scrap. They're an obsolete technology that was abandoned during the construction of the space elevator. Which would mean that if the space elevator was destroyed, it would be that much harder for mankind to reach the stars until we find another way. But even then, Harling still went ahead and tried to destroy it at the cost of his own life. That's not the way I heard it. Yeah, I don't think that's what happened. What I heard was that he sacrificed himself to protect the tower from an incoming missile. Oh. I was told he tried to fly his ship into the tower in order to destroy it. Wasn't really a ship, but whatever. I wonder which story is true, your royal highness. I don't know. Why would he destroy Looking it? Looking at it objectively, it's 
reasonable to believe that Harling had both options before him. When it comes to which one you think he took, I guess it's like a mirror. Yes, it is. It's like a mirror looking into your own soul, based on whichever choice you believe it was. At the moment, though, I can only see darkness. I guess the question is, why was he? Why did he turn around to fly back towards a, a elevator? I think, I think that thing should be destroyed. It's time for the briefing. Although, since we don't have any contact with HQ, it's not like this is an official mission. Anyway, it looks like the seizure of Tyler Island and the relief from Osea have been postponed. In the meantime, we just have to do what we can to survive. Since losing its capital city of Ferbanti, Eurusian forces have separated into smaller, autonomous factions. It looks like Eurusia's largest force and leading faction will pass through the area around this base. The space elevator is significant to them. So, they're probably heading there. Should we intercept? Why? I doubt they're gonna start a fight now. Our top priority should be to get home. Let's go already. Yeah. It's not like we have the supplies, power, or even a real reason to put up a fight. But, what are we going to do if they bring the fight to us? We need to be ready to push them back. If we head inland from here towards Arusia, there's an old castle that's been converted into a stockpiling base. Shalaji Castle. It's currently occupied by some of the Arusian mm. forces that broke off, but we need ammo and fuel. They appear to have converted a freeway into a runway, so we can expect them to have the capacity for air combat. But they'll be easier to handle than Arusia's lead faction. Well, we can't use all our aircraft to attack. The transport carrying the stolen supplies needs support. Okay, Strider Squadron. You head out first, and neuter the dogs at the stockpiling base. Rendezvous with Cyclops Squadron, who will bring the transport. Then we bring the supplies back to this base. Got it. Aircraft are our only threat. Sounds good. We'll make it. We're all gonna fly home. Together. There's clearly ground targets. A whole cluster of them. But, uh, yeah. I should probably strongly consider what plane I bring here during its Shalaji castle. Again, whoops. I had been using. Uh, at this point, I'm just attached. Or a fail. I should just use it. <laughs> Even if it isn't the absolute best. I can use missiles. Test a skill. Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. Okay, here we go. Capture Shalaji Castle and the surrounding area. No Ocean forces are in the region ahead. No allies here. 
No need to ID your target. We've set a number of priority targets, focusing on their anti-aircraft weaponry. Okay, team. Get to work. Unidentified aircraft. Not sure if friend or foe. It's all away. Fire anyway. We don't have time to be wondering if they're friendlies or not. So, we capture this base and take the fuel and supplies. That's the plan, right, Trigger? Yep. You take if you want to live. That's how it was when I grew up. I was just double-checking mission orders, Hushin. Our anti-air guns are destroyed. Abandon and fall back to our rear position. Retreat! Now, more vehicles along the road. They don't appear to be military. They're Arusian refugees. They must be fleeing since the conflict got worse. Yeah, that's going to make that a lot, this mission a lot more difficult. They already are firing on us. The enemy's confused. I know. Ship 
space. Turn around and we'll be forced to shoot you down. This is the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Rack. Land immediately and hand over your planes and base to us. Uh, you must be the Snowbirds. It's absurd for you to be talking so tough after losing one of our leaders at Barbante. You bastard! You defile this country. As long as you're here, this country will never know peace. Shit. I think all of you but your leader. There. Dragon is kind of shot down. off everyone else and have me focus on waiting to be high. I don't have that many missiles. Alright. High speed projectile launch with the aircraft. I'm testing this aircraft. You must find your own sky. We can still help you. Missile. Don't waste your Missile. life. Dedicated to reclaiming that which you call home. Watch your opponent carefully. 
right. For a block. Strata one, target acquired. Watch your remaining missiles. How are you supposed to even, I guess, just start spiraling? I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that. I remember last time, I just kind of got lucky, I feel like. High speed projectile launch for the aircraft. I'm testing this aircraft. You must find your own sky. We can still help you. Nickel. Don't waste your life. Nickel. Dedicated to reclaiming that which you call home. Furthermore, you must find someone to guide you. I'm not that person. My fire suppression system, please. You barely kept me alive. Well, 
keep airspeed up. That's my point. Yes. I don't think this war is over just because we shot down Mr. X. Yeah, it's gonna take something else entirely to end this thing. I just don't know what. You just said it. Shut down drone production. That's what it takes. The resupply went well. We should be okay on food and fuel reserves for a little while at least. Luckily, the rumor that the Erujian army is advancing nearby is only a rumor. There's no sign of them from the skies. Rumors, rumors, rumors. This is what happens when you lose communications. But we got one good fact. The plane trigger shot down was an advanced model of the XO-2 Wyvern. It was developed in the last Continental War. Erugia had a lot up their sleeves. Apparently, they were even supposed to have Belkin aircraft back in the first war. What if Trigger couldn't shoot it down? Just thinking about it gives me chills. We're lucky to be here. In war, you never know what's lurking behind the curtains. But it looks like everything's loose now. A solid chain of command, rest periods after sorties, a battlefield where you know friend from foe. All of that's gone now, lost in a fog of confusion. Feels like a distant dream. Now, just how the hell are we gonna get out of this mess? All right. When we got to the mainland, we found the space elevator's support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. There was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The factory had been converted to a production line for Erujian drones. 
It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belka detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The Erusians, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work. Even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day. I should have stopped then. For all our sakes. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she meant everyone. Including the princess. Like me. The princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she kept the war going. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it, and now they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka? Or for Arugia? My grandfather had only one wish, to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home, let alone the sky. The Black Forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother. We have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. My homeland. She's right. It feels so far away now. The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No, I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? 
How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, right now, it's the root of this chaos. I wonder... Yes? I wonder... which path you would choose... when looking at Harling's mirror. You're gonna have to explain that one to him, because, uh... yeah. I think he was motivated by country, but realized that that motivation's just bullshit. Let's get the briefing started. We've done enough. I'm sure he, well, Pilka exists. Just it's There's just no basically destroyed. Whatever direction you fly, you'll be right into a hail of enemy fire. Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contains. Apparently, the erosion radicals have gathered around the space element, as it's a source of energy. Give the war mongers a powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, people from both Osea and Erusia have joined forces, and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air and the sea. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. Take a look at what's written at the end. Hey, dumbass. If you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the lighthouse. You can see the future. Dumbass? That sounds familiar. It certainly does. It's from those guys we met in Tyler Island. The 444 squad. It's a message all those looking to end the war. But I also think it's a message for Trick. Guess we'll do what it says. Okay. Well then, I'm thinking we go roast that damn bird. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's time to end this war. I'm trying to decide if I want to cut the episode or make time it run fly, long. Guys. Let's go get that arsenal bird. It's a long episode anyways. I got... I think two missions left, unless I do DLC stuff later. Which honestly, I might go wrap back and pick up the other two missions in Ace Combat 5 as well that I hadn't done yet, and then do the DLC. Maybe that's what I'll do after I finish this. Um, so that you know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish out this mission for these two, the end of this game. Next episode, I'm going to be picking up the pieces of like missions I haven't done yet in five and seven. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I decide to pivot to after, in a couple weeks. But, for now, let's keep it going. Raphael has brought me this far, so... I kind of feel like I should stick with it. Oh, this is anti-air. Is there any other... Let me look. Is it only got the two weapons that I can have? Okay. Long-range anti-air mi air -air missiles. I think the... Yeah, I think these are just, like, spam missiles.
All right. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. Let's put that bird. Hey, Cosette, say hello to everyone. Yes. 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 Yes
I can't get out of there. Oh, okay. I'm not going to be able to shoot enough down. The monster bird is in our trap. We'll use a saturation attack. Wait for the signal. I'm trying to break. Fox 3. I'm screwed. Abandoning aircraft. We're out of time. Mission is a failure. All aircraft will draw. What? I have enough. Oh my god. I was just a fraction too slow. That's so dumb. I had to maneuver. I didn't have an opportunity for so long because I had to get out of range. Well, if it isn't the LRSSG, looks okay. like our luck has turned. LRSSG, you will secure. I gotta be faster. There are Russian aircraft in the coalition, so they have been ID'd as friendly via the data link. Just confirmed it. The 
The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. You two aces, I'm thinking it's time to show us what you've got. We don't have two anymore. Guess nobody told them. That's quite true, Count. It's not just two. Wiseman trained his squad well. Everyone still entered as an ace. He'd be proud of you all. To all of you who have gathered here, regardless of your country, this is headquarters of the Ocean Army Southern Command. Wait, you can forget that designation. We are a coalition formed exclusively for the sole purpose of taking down the Arsenal Bird. Wait until we're ready to strike the Arsenal Bird in unison. Roger. Ross, it's always speaking on our own channel. The enemy can hear everything he's saying. There's no other choice. The Illusion aircraft are in the coalition as well. Missiles launched. 
launched from the arsenal burn. Their Helios projectiles. All aircraft stay clear of the blast area. Oh shit. Ten seconds Nicole. to impact. Nicole. Five, four, Nicole. three, two, Nicole. one. Impact. Nicole. Nicole. Way better this time. That's it. Detect that there's none left, just make skip ahead. Clear skies. The monster bird is in our trap. We'll use a saturation attack. Wait for the signal. Inform the coalition units. We're nearing zero hour. Ten seconds until the united attack on the arsenal bird. Incoming! Five. Four. Everybody, Three, give this two, attack everything you've one. got. Open fire! Attack. Air power. You also know the arsenal bird. 
Ow. That stuff are probably still going. But it got destroyed. Come on! It was gone! Just enough ammo to do this, pretty much. Trigger got a sub propeller. You're getting the hang of this, Trigger. All right. What's left? Don't let him anywhere near him. Under it's got no propulsion. The main propeller is moving again. Just how hard is that thing? Our target is far over. He's down to destroying the lieutenant's base. Say what? Yeah, but our guy's more 
trigger. Let's do this. If he played that kind of a pilot, I'd bet on it. Besides, if he thought it was impossible, he wouldn't have said anything. Missile. Missile. Mm. All one. Watch out! The drones are falling! Missile. Missile. Everyone Missile. calm down. Do you want to get yourself Missile. killed? Oh boy. Docking module destroyed. That's two of them. Don't let yourself be distracted. Just focus on what you need to do. Docking module destroyed. One left. This will be a good story to tell my son. Thank you, Jaeger. That's what everyone cares about right now. Come on. Where did I get two missiles from? I was down in my last missile.
Nice work. You pulled off a perfect landing. Well, we're okay for the moment. Now the real challenge begins. Alright. Well, if it isn't the LRSSG, looks like our luck has turned. Okay, guess there's no, uh, debriefing. I can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, the ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Yeah. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time like this. We're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, It'll be the end of everything. The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. The hangars were loaded with goodies. This scrap queen's got work to do. Trigger, mission. everyone, listen up. The operation was a success. Erosion defense forces have been neutralized and all arsenal birds are down. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erosian Coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. We might not even have any viable aircraft. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the Space Elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. What's worse, their data contains a depth of war experience, so the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. We'll do it. So we have homes to go back to. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. This is our final mission. Trigger, let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. Yep. Okay. Now the question is, do I change my aircraft? Or do I think I can pull this off with the uh, fail?
the extra ammo is probably good. Anti-air missiles, probably a good idea. Quick maneuvering. Better homing. Yeah, I should probably do that. Try on the right skin. Mobius skin is a amusing choice. So I don't have a Rosgree skin, unfortunately, for this. I don't know if there is one. Anyway. Um... I, yeah, I guess I use the F-22. It feels like the correct choice. Strider Squadron, take off prep complete. Hopefully I don't come to regret that when I get into the tunnel. Spoilers.
Aircraft, watch your six. Stay sharp. They'll creep up on you. On the enemy's radar. Missile away. Bon voyage. Why didn't that hit? Locked on. Go down. Jaeger, you're gonna tell your son about it? Space elevator is just powered up. Looks like we made it in just the nick of time. Fortunately, you've prevented data that may have included Trigger's flying style from leaking. I've got a special bottle of wine for occasions like this. What do you say we open it? Can you hear me? There's still one drone. It's alive. Who the hell is that? More importantly, I thought Trigger destroyed all the drones. Alive and kicking. The UAV went into the undersea tunnel. That tunnel leads to the space elevator. Trigger, you're gonna have to fly into the tunnel after the UAV. Where's the escape vector? Roger. There's enough space for him to turn beneath the elevator. Status. Alive. 
Excellent. So you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take a short time for the drone to send over the data. We need to destroy it as fast as you can. There it is. You may be spotted. You finally found it. Very reminiscent of the final mission. Turn on your tail. Damn it! It got me. I'm hit. Shit. My wings seem fine, but I'm losing thrust. Is it my engine? Definitely feels like it's my engine. I'm fine. I can still fly. I'm not getting much thrust, but I'll be okay. Destroy the repeaters. Okay. Okay. I have to catch it and destroy it. Drone is turning. It'll send its payload. Shoot it down, trigger. It's down. I remember this being a little easier. Oh, jeez. I have to wait until I have less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. Something. 
color's the sky up there? Dark blue. Way back from our seven year mission to the asteroid belt. I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land in the Wait, what was that transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of Hell the yeah. Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I guess we're just going to gloss over the fact that there was Kessler syndrome going on with the satellites. And that it was not at all remotely safe. Something to talk. Trying to re enter the atmosphere. But whatever! We won't, we won't worry about that. To skies unknown, the path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Granddad. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktavania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Yuktavania? Yuktavania? Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us too. I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond. And that's that. Tu te souviens de nos fleurs préférées qui chantaient tout près de nous. Been a little longer than the other Ace Combat episodes, which already are huge episodes, but I think it was better than. Although last time I think I put like the last couple episodes, couple missions in one episode, but whatever. Thinking, I don't know. Okay, so I do want to do the next uh, episode where I hit the uh, DLC for this. Do I have all of it? I have some of it. I don't know if I have all of it. And there are the two missions in Ace Combat 5 that I, I guess I should go back and do. I mean, if they're not anything special. They're just like the B missions in the 
coin flips. The two or is it three? It might be three missions, come to think of it. Anyway. I'm trying to think of what I sh should do next after seven, because like, at the moment, I don't have another functional Ace Combat game to play physical copies. Now, there's other ways of doing it, but I don't know if I want to go down that route. I do technically own Ace Combat 4, and I would want to play it, but the copy I have is scratched to hell. It will not play. Um, so. We might take a break from Ace Combat, because honestly, I seem to be the only one who's really that interested in, in it. I don't think it's seriously been getting any views. I know why I wanted to only take up one day a week with it. Huge episodes. Granted, the huge episodes is probably why I'm not getting many views, but oh well. I do have some other games that I want to play through. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the huge episode format anymore, though. I might have to rethink the schedule. I know I just changed the schedule, but, uh... Yeah. I don't know. The, the one episode in the middle of the week. I should probably switch it to three, uh, two, and two. Right now... I know Stardew got, like, equal amount of votes as a mission on Twitter. But I'm looking at the views on YouTube. Um, Front Mission's just outperforming everything right now. So, I think it should keep getting three episodes, and I should take one of the days that I give to Stardew and give it to a new series. But I'm probably not going to change things until after I'm fully done with Front Mission. So we got that. We're not uh, Ace Combat. So we got that one more um, episode coming. So the schedule as it stands now is going to stay the same. But uh, yeah, the next, the week following, I think maybe I'll take, I'll give Tuesday. It'll be probably Sunday, Monday will be Stardew. Tuesday, Wednesday will be the new series. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Wait, no. Thursday, Friday, Saturday would be front mission. Come on. But, no one's going to hear this probably because it's like all the way stuff at the end of a four hour video. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll repeat this in like a standalone announcement. Either I'll make a post on Twitter or. Uh, I could just do like a vlog or something. A little weird to do a vlog with just a PNG tuber, but oh well. I just realized I'm we're using the wrong. Oh my god! I used the wrong PNG tuber for this series. I was using Ring. Well, I can't exactly fix that. Okay. I guess technically I could take the audio off of this and play it with it as the input again. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to do that. <sighs> I had the, the winter outfit that I've been playing with Stardew when I was using spring for... Okay, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, next. I was just using that as an opportunity to ramble. I don't think there's anything else, unless it leads directly into the DLC, which, if it does, whoops. But, um... Oh, yeah, the after-mission report thing. 
Okay. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Um, the next one, I don't know the exact order I'm going to go through the stuff, but we will be doing the whatever DLC I have and the other missions in Ace Combat 5. I'll figure it out then. Till then, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.